They come to San Antonio to meet a rising UTSA program in its third season and coming off a road win last week at UTEP. It's the first I-10 matchup of Houston and UTSA from the Alamo Dome. We welcome you to Fox College Football, traveling to San Antonio to see a new member of Conference USA, the UTSA Roadrunners, as they prepare to host the Houston Cougars for the first time ever. We do appreciate you joining us on this Saturday afternoon for this matchup of what they hope will be an I-10 rivalry. On well, the first play of the game, David Glasgow carried for three. And it's a quick pass to one of three tight ends who will play for UTF. Eric Sosa is a coach's son. His dad right now is the head coach at Alice High School in South Texas. He faked the handoff, and Sosa will keep it and runs near first down. Out to the Roadrunner, 41. Might have lost a little bit on first down. Faking. Sosa throws. And another catch. Jarvion Williams in motion out of the backfield. And a toss, and Okacha is tripped up. May have been able to stumble forward, though, for the first down. At the Houston 45, Sosa looking on second down. Has a man, Cam Jones, at the 30. Jones dancing down the sideline and wrestled out of bounds at the 6th. By UTSA, they have moved down to the Houston 12. After the penalty, third and five. Inside slant, caught Cam Jones. Powers into the end zone. Touchdown, UTSA to take the early lead. Attempts here at UTSA. And as Cam Jones catches from 12 yards out, powers his way over Adrian McDonald into the end zone, Eric Sosa and UTSA take an early 7-0 lead. Plays on a Saturday afternoon. They average the third most plays at FBS, 86. When the weather delay ends at the Louisiana Tech Army game, we'll return our Fox Sports 1 viewers in that contest in the cockpit. And O'Corn, second down, letting it fly. Down goes Nick Duffy. Pass interference, defense, number seven. Automatic, first down. Seeing this offense already this year, I think it does help you in preparation. At the 15, a throw and a catch for a touchdown for Houston. Ryan Jackson with the ground. The true freshman from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, John O'Corn, sends that pass into the waiting hands of Ryan Jackson to get the Cougars on the board. They tie the game at seven. Been a Greg Ward, the third, as the game goes on. And off Ryan Jackson. This is second down in 8-3. He has it. And then gets his legs taken out. It really worked out for him. I thought he gave the team a lift last week. Throwing and running. Quick pass. Caught Deontay Greenberry. Broke out of the tackle. He'll come back and get him. Back to pass. O'Corn. O'Corn throwing for the sideline. That's a nice catch. At the 19 of the Roadrunners. O'Corn on third down. Zips it over the middle. It is a first down. Will he go his way again on second and goal? got Greg Ward Jr. in the game. He faked the handoff. He keeps. He runs for the goal line. He dies, and he's in for a touchdown for Houston. John Tyler High School. He'll run it to the end zone. Did he get in? We'll look at the replay right here. Ooh, may not have gotten in, but it's seven on the board for Houston. They're up 14-7. The runner here is David Glasgow. They don't hand it to him. Sosa throws, caught at the 35. Turning it up the field is Aaron Holmes with his first catch today. They're getting their last two tries on third down. And that is motion. Kenny Bias in for the first time. Got a block to give him the edge. And then he's tripped up, but he picks up the first down. The field goal range for Sean Ayano. He's hit 51 before. Swing it out, Brandon Armstrong. Armstrong is inside the 30, inside the 25, driving for the first down. I Close. think he's a little short. Lining up to do so anyway on fourth and short at the Houston 23. Inside handoff. That's Evans Okacha. Marcus, by the way, that was the eighth different receiver to catch today. And now it's nine with Marcellus Mack grabbing one off his shoe top. South. Well, that's great fingertips. Those gloves are sticky now. I mean, this one. That's a five second and goal. The pitch to Jarvion Williams. Williams is hit. Dunning for the goal. He's short. Where their guys are lining up, and they, they're having success, success running it and throwing. Okacha in motion. Quarterback sneak. Sosa. They don't need much. They didn't get much. 
And they'll just have to unstack the pile here. Touchdown. Touchdown. That's the call. He's in. Second down and six. Ward looks to throw against UTSA, and he will throw it down the field, and it's caught. Just like they are now against O'Coin. O'Coin to throw as he's back in, and he is incomplete. Defense, number seven, automatic first down. O'Corn has returned to the game here on third and goal. He throws. Oh, and a great catch made for a touchdown by Xavier Maxwell. The year that's his first touchdown reception. Time out. You'll see it coming at you. Xavier Maxwell in the end zone as Houston takes a seven point lead. After the touchback, Sosa. UTSA their own 25. Sosa throws at the 40. Brandon Freeman out of bounds. I got a lot of friends on Facebook now that I'm a quarterback. <laughs> Sosa from his own 40. And again, they look for Brandon Freeman, and he hauls it in. Minute 46. They've already moved from their own 25 to the Cougars 35. And a good throw and catch. Sosa over the middle. As he delivers this strike down the field. I mean, he never saw it completed. And this is this is the throw. This is the throw to Bias now. He averages over 20 yards a catch, and this one, look at that throw. Right on the fingertips. That 15 out of 19 for the game. Great numbers for Sosa. At the six, steps up, rolling, oh. rolling, touchdown! Aaron Holmes! here in the two-minute drill, a minute and 12 seconds. Well, he gets a little bit of pressure, so he gets Bowser coming and chasing him. Now he buys a little bit of time, and then really Holmes does a good job of uncovering. Look at two hands on the football, perfect technique and fundamentals to protect the ball. Throws the ball. This is the play earlier in the third quarter where O'Corn was hurt. He doesn't know what's coming. Man, he took a knee right by the dog linebacker, Joseph Lascano, right to the head. Thought he had fumbled, but they had ruled that uh, the knee was down. Now, O'Corn dropping back under pressure. They invite that pressure by the screen. Jackson catches, has a convoy to the UTSA fourth. And inside the third. This game. O'Corn, oh, a flea flicker back from Jackson on first and 20. Throwing, and it is caught by Greenberry. His knee is down at the 15 of UTSA. Powerhouse up there. Yes, sir. At the 12, O'Corn oh. fires, and Daniel Spencer dropped the touchdown! Second leading receiver for him, can't throw any better. Over the outstretched hands of UTSA, Spencer doesn't drop many of those. Third drop of the day for Houston, O'Corn, quick pass, Spencer with some redemption, although he is hit hard after he makes the catch. The only from 25 yards, Houston takes the lead. 24 officially on the field goal. Leone is now 9 of 11 Timeout. on field goals. Thought they were going to go up by 7. Spencer dropped one, then caught that one, and Wade with a big hit. To be a starting quarterback this summer. He wouldn't be happy did. with me. Two for 400 yards last week. He's Sosa, a starter. Sosa throws to Marcellus Mack. Singles and a guy who had a key extra point block last week in winning his rice. David Glasgow running, broke a tackle, then taken down right at the first down marker. Old wing T formation here. And Sosa looking to throw out of it and find a man at the 40, Cam Jones. Gifts nearly every single play. Good throw. Another first down inside the 20 of Houston. Shift in motion. He's got to be able to. Play fast. This is double reverse here. And Cam Jones is going to throw it to the quarterback. Sosa! Oh! Incomplete at the goal line. I like this offense. Who knew Cam Jones was left handed? Let's just watch the motion here. All right. Cam Jones off the double reverse. Oh. That's a bad throw. <laughs> Tyus Bowser, who we talked a great deal about last week, who is going to play basketball at the University of Houston as well. Looked like he was defending his goal pretty good that time. Yes, he did. San Antonio, you got to talk about Manu. Sean Iono has a field goal block. 
Houston had one run back against him last week, but now they will do it. On the run back, Brandon Wilson. He is gone. Houston has scored in a block field goal return. It was really a breakdown between the right guard and right tackle, allowing Singleton to get through. Nobody's going to touch Wilson here. Seven yards on first down. Sosa tossing. And a big hole for Jarvion Williams. Williams to the 40. Stutter steps. And the big fullback with his best run of the season. He's got a thought down on the sideline that we'll get after this first down snap at the 46 of Houston. With the catch made by Cam Jones. Jones to the 40. Run down to the 30. And then spun down inside the Houston 30-yard line. Walker got out there. Leveled his man. Now Okacha. Okacha with a hole to the 20, cutting outside, 15, 10-yard line. UTSA is responding from a special teams disaster and marching it right back down the field against the Cougars. Two on the play clock, handoff, and a drive for the end zone, and just shorter, he's in, touchdown. Touchdown run this year for David Blasco from two yards out, capping a great drive. It was a tremendous drive. It was this, and Eric Sosa, great job, great leadership. There's a reason why he's the three-time captain here. Larry Coker can't be... <laughs> Get the film rolling, right? <laughs> Let's keep this party going. Remember, this starting a very good field position for Houston after a short pooch kick by Sean Iano for UTSA and O'Corn the roll and he finds a man Maxwell fake hand off to Kent Brooks O'Corn throwing almost intercepted and caught in the deflection Xavier Maxwell his second touchdown of the game Maxwell has two touchdown receptions today this one through the hands of the linebacker Joseph Lascano Maxwell will catch it and race into the end zone to put Houston up by 10. Got the playoff on first down. Sosa throws it quickly over the middle. Caught 35-yard line. Passing yards, 42 touchdowns, only 15 picks. Cam Jones went in motion. Sosa in trouble. Oh, it's intercepted. Defensive line that B.J. Singleton. He's trying to get across the crossing route that time, and he can't get it out of his hands. Singleton jumped right in the middle of it. Field goal try will be 25 yards for Richie Leone. Oof. And Leone, oh my! He hooked it wide. Richie Leone. Off the upright. The lead is still 10. UTSA will have the ball with 9.13 to go. With Leone. Hitting the upright on the field goal. Rolling, Sosa, throwing down the sideline, and another interception. They come right back, and Trayvon Stewart picks it off. Greenberry, one-on-one -on -one with Tristan Wade. You might like this matchup. And the slot right is where Greenberry was as O'Porn steps up. O'Porn hit as he throws, but he's got a man in the end zone. It is Greenberry. It's a touchdown. And Deontay Greenberry, the sophomore from Fresno, California. Another touchdown grab. This puts Houston up by 17 at the Alamo Dome. A walk on here. After the transfer from Portland State. Oh, Sosa loses the ball. And was able to throw it forward, then deflected and lost in the air. And Zach McMillan will come away with this for Houston. On the outside by Teron Walker. That, you get coached to tackle like that. Justin Hicks with a run. Justin Hicks will scoot into the end zone. Houston scores after the turnover. Texas high school football players on it. Not to mention the smaller schools that, and all the other conferences come in and raid Texas players. It's amazing just how much talent there is in this state. Uh, uh, Tucker Carter throws an interception, and it's going to be going to be run back by William Jackson. He may be going 95 yards here to the 30. Jackson to the 20. Jackson will score on defense for Houston. Wins as they had all of last season. The final will be 59.